to go to Pipe Beast. This is good news, isn't it? Um, Heron Preston takes over as a creative consultant at Calvin Klein. Now, I'm not sure if this means <coughs> he's a creative director, if he's taking over the role from what Raf Simmons had, or whether or not Calvin Klein have basically said, Hey, we're not going to get any more, you know, big name design. Or big, we're not going to get people to come in and just, you know, uh, take the reins of the brand for an indefinite amount of time. We're going to set them at maybe uh, a time scale from when they can come and design and have basically different people take over. So it'll be, you know, let's say Virgil Abloh for Calvin Klein going forward, right? Every There'll be guest designers coming and doing collection. I'm not too sure, but regardless, it's definitely a win for a streetwear community overall to see somebody like Karen Preston get such a prestigious job. So this is definitely something cool to see. And also a further vindication on that kind of Kanye West school of fashion design, right? The amount of people that have graduated to get big jobs that have kind of associated with Kanye and Yeezy, and all that malarkey is just great, isn't it? Like, so many great people have come from that and been able to secure some high positions. So this is definitely cool to see. It says, Heron Preston has picked up a new gig as a creative consultant for Calvin Klein. The designer is expected to launch the Spring Summer 21 collection titled Heron Preston for Calvin Klein, focusing on essentials, including denim, tees, and underwear reimagined by Preston. The collection will be sustainably sourced as well as gender neutral. Jacob Jordan, Calvin Klein's global chief merchant, um, head of product strategy and new product ventures. That's a hell of a title, isn't it? global chief merchant head of product strategy and new product ventures those jobs bruv um we have a uh, we have this idea of working with different visionary and creative people to help tell the calvin kind story through a lens of their perspective on the experiences with the brand i see this project as a first step as reawakening for the brand moving us closer to our connection of the culture and creativity it's about forming interconnected partnerships who can help us tell a story in a way that maybe we couldn't on our own i don't know what that shit means but it sounds cool so from what it sounds like it does sound like they're going to get different people to take over and basically lead um the design for calvin for a bit which makes sense i was a fan of the raf simmons collection that he did for calvin but you know it wasn't very it wasn't kind of received greatly by the customer ironically it's another thing because i remember everyone kind of going you know people the fashion twitter is hor horrible people on there and it's like they hate everything but ironically if i remember correctly um, Calvin Raf Simmons for Calvin Klein was actually received pretty well by the fashion insiders, but the people in the stops didn't care about it. Maybe because of distribution, uh, they didn't get it out of the right places. You know, whatever it may be called pricing point, I don't know. But in terms of sales, right, I saw way more pieces from Raf Calvin Klein in places like TK Maxx and those kind of places than I've ever seen in my entire life. Like huge sources of it were available. People were picking up some absolute steals of that collection in mad places that you would never expect. So that definitely goes to show that some of these fashion stops, you know, they like stuff and then it doesn't sell. And then the stuff that actually sells, they have no appreciation for because it doesn't live up to their kind of lofty, snobby standards. <clears throat> but it's cool to see Heron do this thing here. It says earlier this week, Preston took to Instagram to showcase a billboard in New York City featuring a black and white portrait of the designer himself with the words, I'm working on it, written next to him, which is great advertisement. He's always really good at that sort of activation anyway. The post on Instagram reveals the creative have been secretly working with Calvin Klein for a year on this partnership. Harry Preston launches on uh, April 23rd and the global select markets in Asia and Europe. Fans can expect the prices of sweatshirts and hoodies to range between $138 to $298. Really great, really great pricing, isn't it? Um, and again, I like the branding too. The idea that he's got like that kind of, you know, the classic kind of signature Heron Preston orange um, incorporated with the Calvin Klein. So it kind of stands out from afar. <laughs> And again, it's just cool because I when I met this guy when I met this guy in like 2017, back in the day when I had my stop begging blog, and he used to do his Heron Preston blog thing that he used, had as well. Met him out in New York, and he's just a really cool dude, right? Just really chill, level headed, and it's just a bit awesome to see people that you kind of known from the internet get all these amazing jobs it's just great to see them kind of you know chase their dreams and do these amazing things it definitely goes to show that if you just keep your head down and you work hard you definitely can get the rewards because if i remember correctly from back in there hopefully he doesn't take this as an offense but he, he never really struck me as a fashion dude he wasn't you know he was obviously you know he wore clothes and shit but he never really struck me as somebody that was overly into fashion in that way shape or form maybe streetwear maybe merch later on down the line when he started doing a lot of the stuff with Yeezy and the stuff of Ben True and all that other stuff that he was doing on his own but to see how he's kind of been able to take those kind of 
you know the education he has from you know doing was it we did in Parsons some business strategy sort of thing whatever it was right just being about and being a culture connector and then kind of parlay that into the fashion thing is cool and I said from a long time ago that I actually think out of the entire group from that Bintro crew he's actually the best designer which is funny because he probably has the least amount of experience actually working in fashion in any way shape or form he's kind of come into it much later and again like I said aesthetic wise from when I met him he never really struck me as a fashion guy but I actually think he's the best out of the group of him matt williams and virgil he's definitely i think the best and probably was it the best was he the best yeah i think he's the best personally i think he's the best i think he could probably do um yeah i think he's the best all round all round he's probably the best in my opinion of what he does i think he you know the improvements he's made of his own collection from season one to whatever season he's in at the moment is just exponential it's crazy to see and it's just cool that he's been able to give this opportunity and hopefully it's a long-term thing it's just a one-off and then um, they did this really cool video too that he uploaded on his uh instagram here a little interview segment here clip were talking about you know the inspiration around the whole thing itself and it looks really cool so let's play a bit of that as well to close out the shoe Oh, for real. The Calvin Klein chalk fire extinguisher. That's lit. Irony. That's so cool, isn't it? Imagine that cool that is. Very first memory of Calvin Klein? Obsession. My dad wore Obsession. I remember that bottle. I can almost remember the smell in a way. Because he always wore it. This is our normal level test, test one, two, three. Thinking about this moment that we're in right now, looking at it as a reset in the world, a reset in fashion, and that, you know, where do we start? We start with the basics. Tea, socks, sweatpants. I wanted to have the very best offering of an essentials collection. Essential meaning no more, no less than what we truly need. That looks good. That's going to be very popular. We got to go harder on the detail. So the quality of material, how the hand fills to the touch. It was about seams and finishing. Sustainability is also really a big focus. How are the clothes going to be packaged? How can we replace plastic? So we started looking at paper. This is going to be for t-shirts and this is for women's panties and bras. Oh. Cavern card archives, whoa, sick. How's it sectioned off? Is it, is, are they in categories? It's by ear. When I got to go into the archives, it was just like all these iconic moments all within this roof. Calvin Klein was just such like a transformative brand. He made these pieces so tasteful. It was just so chic to wear like a white tee and like some denim. When the people we're designing for can wear it, like that's what I'm that really, looks, that looks really, really cool. looking forward to is walking through the streets and you see people wearing it when you see how they have put it together in their own way. Man, I'm so psyched. <laughs> it's been a journey. Just to be a part of such an iconic brand and to make it within the history books, dude, like that's fucking huge. That's fucking exciting. That's, that's just so sick. Aaron Preston for Calvin Klein. So cool stuff, man. Definitely check it out if you're that way inclined. Definitely check it out if you're that way inclined.